I met Yako uh, at David's back in the States and we set it all up and I got here. It far exceeded my expectations, the entire experience. Probably the hardest thing for me is when I get home and I unpack my things and find the small pieces of Africa that inadvertently made it home with me. Uh, grass or dirt on my boots or just anything. That will be tough. David's been telling us for a long time how wonderful it is and how everyone needs to experience it. And he is 100% absolutely correct. Definitely would like to think that I'll be able to do it again someday. And I got to bring my dad on this trip. That was wonderful. Very, very different from what we're used to and absolutely amazing. The amount of animals that you're going to see is incredible. And the diversity of the animals that you're going to see is, is incredible. You're, you're going to see animals every time you go to the stand. The PHs here that uh, Carabo hires are really, really good. Um, not only can they guide you, but the time that you have in the blinds, the good times, they're all really great people and very knowledgeable. What's so exciting about it, every time you go out, you never know what you're gonna see, you never know what you're gonna do during the day. It's, it's something different every day. Uh, you know, David got us together here and we had an awesome group all week long. Um, so I just want to thank everybody here. It's just, it's way more than a vacation is ever expected to be. Right on the triangle. Staff is very, very knowledgeable. I've seen some trackers that could track a ghost. Them guys are, they're phenomenal. I don't know, I came into this trip not thinking I was gonna do any hunting, and I came here and now killed five animals. Five animals. <laughs> One so if you're a woman coming here and think you don't wanna hunt, you're gonna change your mind very quickly. We've had a blast. And the suspense and all the things leading up to coming here for planning for a couple of years and then finally getting here, I think it was nothing short of just, um, really incredible. You had a great trip. Thank you. The great memory. You had a great trip. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Hello, hello. Um, we'll offload now. Good to see you guys again. Make yourselves at home. It's good having only, you. Only believe half of what I, I, I did. I disagree. Rule off. Unfortunately, you got the short straw. Come on. You. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, Mr. Chris, welcome. Thank Get up you. with safari. Your first trip? First trip. First trip to Africa, nice. You will have about eight, eight and a half days of bow hunting ahead of us. The weather looks pretty good. Great. So I think we'll have good success. I'm excited. Let's see, we have a, quite a few animals are here on the list. I've got several on the list. <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Did you look into the shock place a little bit? Yeah, basically, yeah. I think for the most part, it's straight up the line. Okay. Middle of the body. All of the zebras make like a triangle on the shoulder. Anywhere in that triangle. Which one? 
the is the one standing right there. The one standing there from outside is the standing up. Just wait for him. Okay, right on the triangle. Just to the right of the triangle. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Congratulations, thank you. <laughs> Got him, Chris. Gosh. Well, well done. That's him falling down. Good job, sir. That's a nice him. Beautiful. That, sir, uh, is one of the most difficult ones on the list for us, actually. Good shooting, sir. Thank you. That was a lot. That was like I hit him right on that drive. Oh, on the line. So we're gonna get out, get nice pictures while we still have daylight. <laughs> there he is, Mr. Chris. Beautiful. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Beautiful zebra. Thank you. Just you smoke him. Right on the money, sir. We hit him pretty well, didn't we? Would not have shot him better. Mr. Chris, first afternoon of your hunt here with Kirabu Safaris. We got everything, well, we got here just about lunchtime. I had lunch, you guys unpacked everything, got the bows all put together, and uh, it didn't take you long when you told me, I'm ready, I'm the ready. bow is ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got into a blind that we we thought we would, uh, we would have some action in the afternoon, and we sure as hell did. Passed up a few animals, and eventually this nice zebra stallion came in. Tell us a bit about it. Well, we uh, we saw a lot of a lot of different animals, and the four zebras came in. You had me hold off for there was two of them that you told me I could yeah. shoot, and so this one finally got in position, and you gave me you gave me the green light to shoot, <laughs> and we we put a good shot on him. Yes, sir. So he didn't go far. It was an unbelievably great first afternoon of hunting. That is that is a hell of a great start, sir. Congratulations, Thank excellent you. shooting. You Thank put you. it the right way, I told you. Thank you. We are basically 40 yards from the blind. <laughs> we expired, so. <laughs>
Thank you. Good job. Well, Jeff, day one, came out here to a different property, trying to get some kudu. We went, came into the blind round nine and had a bunch of kudu come in, but... Quite a few. Quite a few kudu, quite a few eland. But unfortunately, no mature bulls came in. And then, I mean, that was like five, five and a half hours down the line. <laughs> this nice pig showed up and you can tell what happened. I think we were a little bit bored. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there was actually quite a few pigs and this was a bigger one that came in a little bit later. So he was only about 17, 18 yards and went right on him. He didn't go very far. Yeah, you made a perfect shot. I told you just to hit him just above that feeding trough and you made an excellent shot. You can see immediately it was blood. And, I mean, the blind is there only like 50 yards away. So congratulations. Thank you. Good job. That's some good shooting. Let's see if we can get a kudu. Well, end of day one, we got a nice water duck. And yesterday we got a nice spring luck. So I think we're off to not a bad start. Slow. One a day. One a day <laughs> this day. So good luck for the rest of the trip. And try again tomorrow. Try again tomorrow. Morning, 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 morning. Well, guys, day two. What are we doing today? Killing a zebra. And? That crooked kudu. Mama. Crooked one. I can't wait. Have right, fun, yeah, boys. Two straight and forward. It's great having you guys here. And we're looking forward to we're an having awesome day. Yeah, we're having a wonderful time, sir. We are heading to a very special place for my dear good Haili to shoot something. We're going for the special kudu now, and we hope we find it. Excited, ma'am? I'm excited. I'm ready. Yes, it's in. Put you. Reload. Yes, yes brought you out your hand. Reload. Let's go closer. Come. Load again. Just pull all the way back. Forward. Go. I'm so excited right now. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Alright, he's not dead yet. You just find him, okay? Shot him high on the shoulder, which is a good shot. I think he might just die. Come here. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Congratulations, ma'am. Well done. What a hell of a kudu. Let's go and look. You shot him perfect. High shoulder shot. This is your shot. There's your shot. Perfect. Well, Ailey, here we are. Been looking forward to this animal for a couple of days now. Yes. Tell us what happened, ma'am. We came here to this cattle farm. We saw him a couple times. He managed to get away, kind of elude us. We finally saw him again and I had a clear shot. One shot, took him down. Yay! Congratulations on yes. an amazing trophy, ma'am. Very happy for you. Yes, to a Our absolutely- celebratory wine. A celebratory wine. Congratulations. Keefton, it's great having you here, buddy. Thank you, sir. The two of you, great having with you, hunting with you. Congratulations. Cheers, ma'am. Congratulations. See it? Wait, yes. wait. Don't shoot the sable, huh? Right now. Got him. Come, 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 come. Here he is, come. All right, take a shot. Right in the middle of his back. Well done. Awesome. Well done. Man, he ran far. <laughs> yeah, you shot him hard. He was struggling. Fine, that was the last shot. That wasn't the front shot. Yeah. That is a beautiful zebra. Happy? <laughs> Today's Haley Day. We got Thank it. you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's your wife that made a good shot. End of story. Both kills in one day. Both with one shot. Ma'am, your dream animal. Yes, since day one. It took us three days, very elusive, but here we are, in the same day as my kudu. Two animals in one day. Cannot get any better. No. Congratulations, young lady. Awesome. Okay, here we are, day three. Today we are actually after a big kudu. We've been searching for big kudu now for three days. We've got a very good opportunity on one yet. And uh, he's looking for Impala. 
and a warthog. And the two of us are after games bug and a goody. That's our main objects. But if we got luck on something small or something else, we would definitely not pass it up. That's him. That's a bad ball. I think just from the bottom, right behind the shoulder if he steps forward. There's a yellow behind him, wait. All right, good. Good. Shoot. Good. Uh, I couldn't see what he Redemption, man. Oh, that was such a, yeah. such a long way. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, we did. Bye. <laughs> Right there, buddy. Oh, Look at that steak. It's like that's bad. You ought to feel my knees. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. What a big cutter. Loving it. Looks like a good sign to me. Full of blood. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a big one. <sighs> Golly. Man, he's massive. There's that big old. That's the big. I tore that bastard. <sighs> Got him. Damn, he's a big old bull. He's big. Look at bass on this, on the tips. Going outwards, nice big ivory on it. Congratulations, Thank bud. You. Thank you, guys. Very happy for you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Day three. Got in the blind early this morning, bitterly cold. We had actually no expectations to get anything at all. And then. In walks three kudu bulls, and we picked this one. I'm glad. I am too. You made a better <laughs> shot on this one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sir. This one. Absolutely. But you were shaking the whole time. Not I had to calm that. you down like two yeah. or three times. You will have that. He made me hold it back a while, as did the wildebeest last night. Yes. But I'm glad. Glad he's dead. Very happy. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Good kudu. Appreciate you. That was the hit. It was good. Solid. Hundred percent solid. That's hot. Woo! Hot jerks. Damn. It's good. That happened quick. Show me some blood. That was good. That was fast and over. Too quick. Ah. <sighs> A lot of blood over here, here. And just oozing out here in the front. Oh yeah. <laughs> I told you we'll get you a <laughs> Oh yeah. Jungle, the mighty jungle. The piggy sleeps tonight. We were sitting there in the blind, and this is one of your main animals on your list. You said Impala, Warthog. Yes, sir. And this was a pleasant surprise. I wasn't even expecting a pig in the cold weather like this. He came out, and all happened in seconds. I mean, Second. seven seconds from Bam. the time we saw it until the time it took a, took off running. It was not For more sure. than seven seconds. For sure. You were the first one like, and you totally froze, you're like, don't move. <laughs> right. Well, we, this morning we watched uh, two or three times a sow and three pigs come in and, and uh, didn't expect the male to come in that fast, but it happened quick. It was great. It was great. You gave me the, you gave me the go ahead. <laughs> we got a pig. Got it, buddy. Thank you so much. Oh, he's 
He didn't come out on the road. I think he's down right there. Sure is a nice one, or did you just tell me that so I'd shoot it? <laughs> My man. You ain't let me down yet, partner. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. That's a big ball up. <laughs> Thank you to Sean and Hannes. You guys are the men. Yeah, he's thick horn, thicker than I thought. Okay, this is the very last light of day three, and there's your dream animal. One of the biggest target animals before we even got here. Uh, yeah, he was a priority for me. We killed a lot of animals out of this blind today, come in a little unexpected. It was really nice, uh, real good hit. Flopped down face first in the water. It was, it was nice, and you guys had a quick recovery. I'm happy, happy man. Thanks to the PHs because uh, these guys, this is your world and you two know what's going on. All you PHs know what's going on. We appreciate you for sure. Thank you so Thank much. You, this is my wife, Yvonne. Hi. Hi, right, this is Denver. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Hayley. Hayley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That is Tommy. I don't know, ma'am. Yeah, you've shot a lot of animals. We have. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Pleasure to meet you, too. Just want to say uh, we've had expectations of this trip for a year and a half and uh, wasn't even close. Had no idea what, what was to come. Uh, the family here is just great. Uh, Yako and his wife and his family, uh, everybody here is great. The PHs, the PHs here that uh, Carabo hires are really, really good. Um, not only can they guide you, um, but the time that you have in the blinds, the good times, they're all really great people and very knowledgeable. And uh, we killed a lot of animals, a lot of animals, a lot of great animals. Uh, there's a lot of them that are tough and we had to be guided through it. And, uh, and learn each animal just a little bit. Uh, but all the evenings have been great. The, the food is unbelievable. Um, <laughs> these people will never let you go hungry here. It's uh, very, very good food. Um, just everything about it. I, I, Dave, I want to thank David Westmoreland with Prairie Land Outfitters for inviting us, helping us put it together. Um, it made everything happen. Uh, I became really good friends with all the PHs and just a time of my life. I never expected what came and it's been really, really great. I'll never forget it and uh, I'm very thankful to everybody and just thankful that uh, it was able to happen in my life. This is the morning of day four. We are going to look for uh, Gimsbach. Wildebeest. Wildebeest. Warthog. Um, Warthog and hopefully a zebra, yeah. It's a perfect shot. Got yourself a beautiful wallabies bull. Look at that. Big bosses.
Well, started off with a good morning. Great morning. Saw a few nyalas, beautiful kudu, and then these guy coming. Made a perfect shot. Probably went about what? 80 yards. 80, 90 yards. Yeah. Went down. Yeah. You smoked him, man. Very sure. good shot. I think that's a very close hard shot, even if it's not a hard shot. Beautiful. Thank cool you very down. much. Appreciate it. Great morning. Yep. It was a long day, but still a good day. We whacked a good, very nice, big wall of his bull this morning. Yeah. Race of the wind pretty much messed us around. We needed to switch to a different blind, uh, but the wind still doesn't want to play with. So hopefully tomorrow is our day for a big zebra and a nice games bug. Absolutely. Right, listen, um, we're going to have a look at Yes to everyone. I think you're having a great trip. Congratulations on all your beautiful animals. And um, I think we're exactly halfway tonight. So uh, I think we like way over 40 or 45 animals. So that's not bad. Congratulations. Thank you to all the PHs. Everyone here. Appreciate everyone. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Yeah. That's a pretty one too. Not just any old Janet. I don't know what happened there. Pulled it back too far. Well, we could only see the eyes. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> we didn't shoot nothing today. Holy shit. What caliber is that? That's two, three or eight. We're shooting just. <laughs> Okay, so it's the beginning of day five. Uh, we had some gr uh, great luck with Kudu yesterday, late, late afternoon. Uh, and uh, we got a sable, an impala, a nice impala, a nice in sable. And uh, today we're gonna go to Roybo's Bolt. It's one of uh, Yaku's concessions. And they've got a special roan for us. What's your feeling about today, Steve? I'm excited. They're a beautiful animal. Yeah. I saw Steve's reaction when he first saw that drone in the blind. And it was, wow, that's big. <laughs> and I think it's one of the um, pulling powers of it. The biggest antelope in Africa. Yeah, they are a cool animal. OK, so we finally arrived here at Roybos Bolt. Good morning, how are you? I'm good and you. Good to see you again, sir. Thank you. We are at the uh, Roybus Bolt and uh, we are after a specific run. We're going to split up. Uh, one truck is going to move around and we're going to drive around and we're going to see if we can spot it. And as soon as we located it, from there we're going to make a plan and we'll see how it turns out, what we're going to do. Cool. That's him. Wow. Ah, huh? we're big. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Nicely, nicely done. Thank you, young man. <laughs> Day five of a hunt. Uh, we had quite a successful hunt so far, and we left this morning. Very cold. Very cold morning and uh, we drove about 45 minutes to get here and we specifically came for the Rhone antelope, second biggest antelope in Africa. Steve did a perfect, perfect shot on this animal, it did not go very far, one shot, one kill. There was a little bit of tracking involved, but we were sure from the beginning it's a perfect shot. 
oh, I, I was, I couldn't believe it happened that quick. It, it was, it was amazing. From the time we spotted it until, until the time it came in, probably wasn't more than 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, that, that's one of the fastest hunts that, that I had ever been on. Hey, this is my first time to Africa. I didn't know what to really expect. Um, the flight over, the trip here, uh, Karabo Safaris, it's uh, been a great experience. Um, the amount of air animals that you're going to see is it, incredible, and the diversity of the animals that you're going to see is it, it, incredible. You're, you're going to see animals every time you go to the stand. Uh, they have elevated stands, they have a lot of pit blinds. Um, again, you're going to see a tremendous, a tremendous amount of animals there. Um, just depends on what you're looking for and uh, what your expectations are. Um, the first class service here, as far as the food, oh my gosh, you, you'll probably come away weighing 10 pounds more. My favorite moment, probably the Rhone, where we were able to find it so quickly and uh, and harvest the animal uh, within just minutes. It, it, it went just like a textbook. Uh, never seen anything like it. Uh, everybody was high-fiving and we were all pretty excited. Uh, I, I don't think the, the whole hunt, once we started, took more than probably 20 minutes. Tim, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. All right, we're on day five of hunting. We're on our way for a bush buck. They are nocturnal animals, so they will be coming in pretty late. So hopefully when we get there, we can get set up and all that. Just before dark, we can hopefully get one that will come in. Good luck, man. Thank you. Perfect. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Yeah, as you can feel, rock solid heart. One of our tiny animals, our tiny spiral. All right, Denver. Congratulations. Thank you. We've been talking about this earlier with these guys, and um, we came to the blind, 45 minute drive. And um, as soon as we sat down, it was a younger, younger ones that came in, and these guys were a little bit skittish, and they took off and it was about an half an hour later it comes from the opposite side games in very skittish very skittish and stood very nice broadside for us and we'll be able to fire a shot congratulations very nice one as you can see that the tips and the, the, the curls and all that like i showed you on the boss the hardness yes sir um and the dark i don't know if you notice it but the young ones and these ones it's the older ones are a little bit more darker yeah the other ones look more red yeah well done, congratulations. Thank you. All right, man. We are here at the end of the day. What a great day. Congratulations on your bush buck. Thank you, thank you. Let's go have something to drink. I agree, right. yeah. My experience has been amazing. Um, David's been telling me to do it for years. And a couple years ago, he just told me that I had to do it and to book it. Um, everything's been great from the time they picked us up from the African Sky Resort. Uh, it just, everything, everyone felt like friends. We got here, the accommodations are great, the food's great, there's animals everywhere. You never know what's gonna walk into the blind. You'll be sitting there one minute, you might see a Gibbons buck, the next minute you see a kudu, niala. Everything just comes from every different direction. You never know what's gonna walk out. I mean, you're experiencing it for the first time, at least I was. Um, I can't thank David Westmoreland enough for hooking us up at this place. It was amazing. Um, Yako is amazing. All the PHs are very knowledgeable, very nice. They wait on you hand and foot. You'll want to go get something and they won't let you know. I'll, I'll go get it for you. Um, 
I can't say enough good things about Haraba Safaris. I will definitely be coming back. Wow. So Steve shot himself in Eland. Nice, good job. So we hunted for Roan this morning. Steve decided no. He's going to take the biggest antelope and the second biggest antelope on one day. He made a perfect, perfect shot. It ran, what do you think? About 75, 80 yards. And it, uh, it took about two hours to finally get a shot at him. There were so many eland in there that couldn't get a shot. And finally, it, it happened, and I took the shot and made a good shot, and then we followed it up, and uh, again, he went about 75, 80 yards. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Incredible. All right, Tommy, Ray, this morning, day five, we left camp just with one intention, and that was to shoot two games buck. Tommy, you took the first shot on that one. Yes, sir. Yep, she made us work for it. We had to be patient, but we uh, made it happen. It's what we set out to do, and we did it, so I don't know how you can be any happier than that. We hit it perfectly. There was probably 30 minutes of daylight left, and this old grand of a bull walked in, and uh, Ray was like so excited, and me and Tommy had to just calm him down the whole time, calm him down. Yeah. Just wait, just wait, just wait, and he's like, Really, I can take this. I can take it on the shoulder. I'm like comfortable. Shoot. Made it happen. It Crashed was a great it. Great day again. Congratulations, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tommy. Yes, sir. Well done. Thank you, sir. Listen, guys. I don't think I'm wrong. I'm pretty much sure most of you shot something today. <laughs> Not most. I think everyone. So congratulations. It was a hell of a day. Um, the days are just getting better. Hopefully, they'll keep continue like that. Don't stop shooting now. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> Touche! No, congratulations to everyone. What a great day. Shooting so many games back with a bow in one day must be a new record. To so everyone, cheers. 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 Thanks to Carabo. Right, great. But I want to say a big thanks to David Westmoreland for putting everything together for us and guiding us into. Yako's world. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, David. Thanks, David. Thank you. Appreciate you, brother. Oh, that's a nice bull. That's a big bull, Jeff. Okay, get ready. Are we getting there? Got shit going on. legs back. Move that leg. Did you get him? I think so. Boom. I don't know if we could have made it without Joel's help. <laughs> Go stalk something. Here. Nice bull, Jeff. Man, he's a wooden. I mean, he got as long as he blew it, blowing it out of his face. Yeah. That's be stuck in that shoulder, huh? Good job. Thank you. Yeah, it's probably inside the inside the shoulder. There it is. Well, Jeff, congratulations. This is a very, very beautiful old, old Nyala bull. He made an excellent shot. He maybe went like, I don't know, 150. Yeah. Probably. We're going to move from here to uh, blind with the possibility of zebra. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to, we're going to at least try. Small one. Yeah, well, congratulations, Thank my you. friend. You made, an, you. Excellent, you made an excellent shot. We had a couple animals to pick from, and this is one we like the best, so. Turns out to be the biggest one, so got a nice. good shot and a pretty good tracking job. So yeah, he's a he's a beautiful old bull. Congratulations. So this is my second time here. I knew day one of last the last time I was here that I was going to come back, and uh, it's just a phenomenal experience. There's so much to see. Uh, obviously, so much to do. Yeah, thanks for returning to Kirabu. We appreciate that. And I'll be back for sure. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Well, if you can't kill them, just with an arrow drown them. Well, Jeff, we got that uh, nice nyala this morning and we moved to a different line and after some giraffe and kuru came in, this big old impala male came in. You can tell yeah. what happened. Yeah, uh, came up beside the water and uh, we shot and hit a little bit low, but jumped up in the air and landed in the water and it never came out of the water. Yeah, it took a bad thing, it never came out. Yeah. <laughs> Like we said when we were in the blind, it was maybe like an inch, inch and a half to like yeah. where you probably were aiming, but while well, you got the job done, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Shoot. Listen, here's to, here's to Jeff not shooting a zebra. Here's to perfect shot, not so perfect. A drowning in Paula. Drowning in Paula, yeah, Jeff shooting all the zebras. Chris, we drink to you not finding your animal. That's quite a negative, but I, but I do think the trophy of the day belongs to David. So congratulations, yeah. Mr. West, on a hell of a war talk. Cheers. 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 Thank you, sir. Again. Shoot him again. That's it. There is dead. But it's a monster. Oh! That's a hit. Go in there. Hey, it's running, it's running, go, it's running. Hold your rifle, it's running. Go in, go, 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 go. go in. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah. <laughs> nice! For you. <laughs> Good, well done. Did you shoot it? Yeah. Did you shoot it? I'm like, binoculars, binoculars, wow! Oh, okay. Got him. <laughs> That's a hit. And that bitch is stomped, I heard it. Oh, would you go and collect? Must I go collect? No, I'll go collect. Can you see all? See an eyeball. Looks like his body. Shoot! Shoot! Why? Just below the nose, in the chest. Hey. Right there. Tommy, you shot him. Monster Bushbach. Ah. <laughs> Woo! Give me, oh, man. give, give. Who, who's, who's your face? Who's your face now? Pull him by the leg. Pull him by the leg. <laughs> Pull him by the leg. You shot him in the face. Do you know how long I've been looking for that one? <laughs> this is our third night hunt. We didn't go empty-handed once, but uh, tonight was extraordinary. First shot a nice uh, porcupine, then we shot a um, bushbuck, then we go out got another uh, porcupine and then it's unreal, this unique bushbuck. It's been the best night hunt that we've had so far for the whole season. I'm so glad because it's, it's, uh, it's an excellent yeah. night. Heck yeah. So my experience for this trip here at Carabo has been amazing. The, uh, the hunting is extraordinary. The amount of animals that you see daily, hardly ever a slow day, just the accommodations, the staff was wonderful. Um, I mean, just honestly beyond belief. I, David's been telling us for a long time how wonderful it is and how everyone needs to experience it. And he is 100% absolutely correct. If you love to hunt, you, you have to try it at least once. It was beyond belief, just amazing. Definitely, uh, definitely would like to think that I'll be able to do it again someday. And I got to bring my dad on this trip. That was wonderful. Uh, very, very different from what we're used to and absolutely amazing. Mr. Chris, good morning. We've had some good success the last few days. You managed to get some really nice animals down. 
and uh, this morning we have about a 30 minute drive to a concession that we aren't that I've never been on it's my first time there but what the guys told us is they have some really nice kudu bulls in that area and one specific bull that they actually say we're gonna try and get so we'll see if we can uh, when we get there what's the situation and if we can locate the bull and try and get you a shot on him that sounds fantastic awesome sir good luck thank you Oh, whew. I think he's in trouble. Uh, wow. That's a big bull. That's a big bull. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull that off. Uh, what was that exciting? That was exciting. That's probably my first kudu hunt out of a tree. Is that right? <laughs> you know, when we first looked at this, I just thought to myself, if we can get in this tree, we can we can do this. Uh, <laughs> we did it. So uh, I hope Petrus saw it. Ah, here he comes. Good job, Chris. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Good job, sir. Thank you. Don't fall out now. I won't. You have the kudu already. We don't want you in the hospital. No, no. I think I'll be fine. And my foot's stuck. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> that worked, worked out good, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, he ran down there and then he turned. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> this is a good bull of a lifetime, my friend. You will, you will really... I'm speechless. Search a long ways to get another bull like this. Just the spread on him. It's incredible. It's more, it's wider than your average bull. Well, Mr. Chris, we still had a kudu on the list and one more to go. With a day and a half left, we drove out this morning from base camp about a half an hour drive to a, a new concession that we started to hunt. The guys told us there's some pretty good kudu bulls on this area and what more can we say? Tell us a bit about what happened this morning. Well, uh, I've only heard other hunters speak of bulls this big but I was <laughs> I was fortunate enough to to be put in a position to 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 have an opportunity this morning uh, we long story short we had to get in a tree yes, to make this happen and uh, it, it worked out perfectly like somebody needs to pinch me because I feel like I'm in a dream <laughs> <laughs> so this is definitely a good bull of a lifetime we estimate this bull to be in the high 50s I think we're gonna go over 58 on this bull He's really worn down a very old bull. He's broken some of the, the tips and worn it down more. I think he at least lost maybe three inches a side over the years. It's a very old bull. So in his prime, he might have been pushing the magical 60 number, but an excellent bull to take out of the herd. His time for breeding is pretty much over. Congratulations on an excellent shot and an exceptional Kuru bull. So Thank well you. Done. Thank you so much. Well, Mr. Chris, that turned out just as we planned. We didn't know the whole setup on this property. It was the first time that we were here, but they told us about a big kudu bull that comes into a different or specific spot, and we managed to make it work. You had to jump in a tree, but <laughs> we... well done. You called it, you will get into the tree, and it worked out perfectly. Congratulations on an excellent kudu bull. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, thank done, you, Chris. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that is incredible. Well, you climbed up in a tree. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, Love I, it. Tomorrow is the last full day. Tomorrow's last. 
Impala left on the list. Only an Impala. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. let's give it let's give it a go in the morning. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we might be back for lunch and then have a relaxing afternoon. That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds great. Cheers. Have a good evening. You sir. too. We'll Thank have you. Have fun around the fire. Yes, we will. I've known David for. 30 plus years and he had tried to get me to come to Carabo Safaris for the last eight or 10 years and I couldn't really justify the time or the money but I finally was able to pull it off this year and uh, I met Yako uh, at David's back in the States and we set it all up and uh, I got here and the um, it far exceeded my expectations. The whole experience, the entire experience, um, from the accommodations to Yako and his family, everyone has just been wonderful. They're a great family. Um, I, I uh, shot a really big kudu bull that uh, most likely will be a once in a lifetime opportunity and I'm, I'm happy that I was able to, to to have Petrus as my PH and he he uh, put me in that situation and got the animal in front of me and we we took that animal um, so uh, I have nothing but good things to say about Carabo Safaris and the, and the entire experience I told Yako the other day that the hardest thing probably the hardest thing for me uh, is when I get home and I unpack my my things and find the small pieces of Africa that inadvertently made it home with me, uh, grass or dirt on my boots or just anything, that will be tough. Do I have to shoot these? Yes. You did shoot a kudu, so you got to shoot this. Listen guys, congratulations to everyone that got an animal today. Um, it was not an easy day. <laughs> <For Jeff. laughs> Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. The zebra curse is broken. <laughs> uh, congratulations. It didn't last long. Everyone else, congratulations on everything you shot today. But I <laughs> honestly think the day belongs to Chris. So Chris, congratulations. Thank you. I went down and measured your kudu. It is officially the largest kudu we ever shot with a bow at Kiribu. Wow. It measures 58 and a quarter in. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank Amazing. You. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Thank Thanks. You. Cheers. Cheers. Go, Chris. 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 Morning, our last day with Kevin and Devon. Hopefully, looking for another wildebeest or a zebra. So that's the plan. Hopefully, everything will work to plan, and you guys get something else on your last day. Awesome. Good luck. Thanks. Go and have a look. Need some blood. A piece of arrow. I'll take that, Mac. Perfect shot. Perfect. Yeah. Well done. Good job. I don't send you on my walks. So here we are. We did it. Last day, we came out, tried for the wildebeest or zebra, and uh, not too long after we said it, it happened. He made a perfect shot, shot a beautiful old bull, nice bosses. 
it didn't win even 80 yards did well done great Thank job you. appreciate it it was great i mean we kept having to bounce back between blinds and thankfully kind of stepped out finally and uh got her done yep well this is the end of our 2023 africa trip and and the suspense and all the things leading up to coming here for planning for a couple of years and then finally getting here, um, I think it was nothing short of just um, really incredible. Um, fulfilled all of, all of our expectations and then some, and I can't say enough about all the staff and everybody here at Caribou and, and David Westmoreland for putting this together. And we uh, shot a few more animals than we anticipated, but I think that's kind of all part of the deal. And, I think the favorite one for me was uh, probably the kudu bowl that I took down. And Devin, what was your favorite? I think mine was my gems buck. I thought that was the best shot of the trip. Yeah, so uh, just a great trip. And I uh, was happy that it came, went fast. Um, sad to see it go, but hopefully we'll be back. Well done, young lady. Yeah. Awesome. Happy for you. Let's do it. They were down that road. I just saw them down this road. Much more, I'll tell you now. That's when I look at them. Shoot the one on the right. The one on the right. Take your time, right behind the shoulder. Hell yeah! Congratulations! I heard it hit. You, did you see him fall? <laughs> yes! Congratulations! That was an awesome shot, man. Woo. Well done, Ailey. Still got it. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Kieftan. Yes, sir. It was a privilege hunting with the two of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you Thank very much. You. Thank you for everything. Good Enjoy. shooting. Three beautiful trophies. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Let's go and have a look. All right. Yeah, he dropped in his tracks, huh? Did not move one inch. Go the Ailey. Yeah, you can't shoot better than that. Right behind the shoulder. Hit right where I aimed. Well done. Congratulations, ma'am. That's a beautiful white blessed buck. See how white the horns are. And now you can't remember, but the ones that you shot had black horns. Yeah. So quite a difference. Look at that shot. That right shot in the perfect. money. Right in the money. You shoot them there, they drop every time. Well done, lady. Thank you. Well done. Well, Ailey, the last afternoon, we decided to change from a steam buck to a white blaze buck and you made the perfect shot, woman. Yep. I'm proud of you. Thank you. What, anything you wanted to say? I learned this week that I can shoot better than my husband. Hoo-ha! <laughs> Giffy! <laughs> Sorry, my friend. It was great hunting with you, ma'am. Congratulations with three beautiful trophies. Thank you, we had a great week. Well, we've been here for, I think, this is our eighth day at, uh, at the ranch, and it's a very interesting uh, experience in life. If you've never done it, you ought to take the time and load up and come here. There's tons of wildlife, the, the hospitality, the food, the lodging, everything is top notch. I would recommend this to anyone. The staff, the staff is very, very knowledgeable. Uh, the, I've seen some trackers that could track a ghost. <laughs> the, um, them guys are, they're phenomenal. So I have got to go on a, a tracking experience with one of my friends and I honestly think they could found a ghost. But uh, other than uh, having a great time, I have nothing else to say about this, but it's just phenomenal. How about you? 
I don't know, I came into this trip not thinking I was gonna do any hunting, and I came here and now killed five animals. Five animals. <laughs> One so if you're a woman coming here and think you don't want to hunt, you're going to change your mind very quickly. We've had a blast. We definitely had a blast. And I want to thank each and every one here for everything they've done and made this trip so much fun because it's it's just, there's no words for how much fun you can have here. It's just breathtaking. All right, guys, we've come to a awesome 10 day hunting safaris. This is our last day last night um, it was a good hunt got some lot of trophies a lot of good trophies and um, it's been excellent unfortunately this last slide we couldn't pull off a, a place bug that we wanted but next time something for next time next time do appreciate it thank you guys it's been wonderful thank you all right well since i was 10 i wanted to come to africa and my number one animal that i wanted to shoot was a gims buck so shooting the gims buck was amazing. Um, I'll, I'll never forget that seeing the Gibbs buck coming in. It was it was perfect. Um, but it's just something I'll I'll never ever forget. And I came here thinking I would probably shoot four or five, six animals, something like that. And I think I end up killing nine or ten. A pile, <laughs> a pile of them. <laughs> oh, what a great trip. Heavenly Father, we thank you for a great 10 days we spend with new friends. Thank you for everything that we can experience and enjoy every day of your creation. Thank you for this food. Bless it to our bodies. And please give us a good night's rest. Amen. Hi, this is my second time at Carabo Safaris. Um, what's so exciting about it, every time you go out, you never know what you're going to see. You never know what you're going to do during the day. It's, it's something different every day. Um, I've been on a quest for a zebra since the first trip and uh, finally happened on this trip, so it was a, it, very exciting. Um, all the PHs, everybody here, uh, you know, David got us together here and we had an awesome group all week long. Um, so I just want to thank everybody here. It's just, it's way more than a vacation is ever expected to be.